Okay, so I'm going to talk about the concept of mean or what a mean is. Now the word for mean is average, and that may be a term you're more familiar with. But let's look at this situation. We have a group of students, in fact 10 students, who have written a math test, and here are their percent grades. And uh, their grades have varied, uh, looks like from anywhere from 30 to 90. And the teacher wants to know, in general, how well did the students do? Was this a test where she feels, in general, that all the class is ready to go on, or perhaps review is necessary? Or perhaps she wants to communicate to other math teachers how well this test worked. Um, there could be a number of reasons why she wants to get a general impression of how the students did on the test. Now, she could ask each individual student how they did. However, I think their answers would be quite different. For example, student seven here got 30 percent and uh, he or she might say, you know, that test was wickedly hard or maybe I should have studied more or uh, this teacher is not a very good teacher. Who, who knows? But 30% would probably have a different view than the student number six, who got 90% and would have said the test was went really, really well. Maybe they would have said the test was too easy. And of course, each student might have a different story depending on their results. So if we want to get an overall impression of how the test went, we calculate a mean or an average. And this is how we do it. I'll explain it and then I'll show you how to do it in Excel. What you do is you add all these grades up to a big total and then you divide by the number of students. So in this case I'm going to say equals SUM. That's how Excel gets a total. And then I'm going to use a left parenthesis. You can't see it there but there it is right there. And then I'm just going to drag over these this area, all the numbers I want to. It's a kind of a shortcut to select all those numbers. I'm going to press enter and it turns out that it adds up to 635. Now I know there are 10 students. I can see that. So I'm just going to put a number of scores, 10. And to do the mean or average, I just say equals. That's how you do a formula in Excel. You start out with equals. 635, which is the total there, the sum, divided by 10. So the average grade is 63.5, which uh, seems, I don't know how representative of it is in terms of the, the sample, uh, because you seem to have test scores all over the place. However, a teacher could fairly say that the average was 63.5. Perhaps the students need a little more work, or maybe the test was a little bit hard, harder than she, um, he or she thought. Um, there could be a number of conclusions and ways that the teacher would use this mean score. Now I'm going to show you a shortcut to actually get the mean in Excel. I wanted to explain how you get it, but uh, if you type the equal sign here and type in average, and then the left parentheses, and then you add, uh, highlight all these uh, scores and press enter, you get the same score, 63.5. And various tools have different ways of calculating means, but the mean is basically a description of a set of scores in one number, and it gives a general impression of those scores. I'd like to talk about standard deviation now, and the way I'm going to do that is to take a look at three different tests and these students have written the test, students 1 to 10, and this is test 1, this is test 2, and this is test 3. And so what I'm going to do is calculate the mean for each one and see if these tests are actually comparable. So I'm going to put, uh, whoops, yeah, equals average, and I'm going to select this and press enter. And I'm going to put equals average bracket. And I'm going to do this again. And oh, the average is exactly the same. And I'm going to do equals average bracket. Highlight it again, enter, and the average is exactly the same. So a teacher might say, well, the average is the same 
for all those tests, so they're the same. But let's take a look at the values, the scores in those tests. In the first test, we have scores of 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 90, 30, 70, 75, and 70. There's quite a spread there of scores. Um, let's take a look at the second test. Well, 64, 61, 65, 63, 64, 64. Uh, there's not much spread at all. So in this case, the students actually differed quite a bit among each other in terms of their scores, whereas in this test, they actually were very similar. And in this test, we have, well, even looks even broader. You've got 90 and uh, 100 and 40s. So it's, it's really quite, either you did really well in this test or you did really poorly, it seems. So that's actually kind of important information. So what you need to look at that information is standard deviation. And what standard deviation means is the spread of scores. How do those scores spread out? So fortunately, Excel has a nice little formula to do this. And equals STDEV bracket. And then I'm going to highlight all those scores. And standard deviation is 18.6 and I'll tell you what that means a little bit later but let's take a look at the other test score so I'm gonna put equals S T D E V bracket and highlight oh and the standard deviation is 1 here so the spread of scores in this particular test is 18 or they really kind of spread out and so standard deviation gives you a measure of how these scores spread out. In this case, the scores are very narrow. You can see that from looking at the scores there. They are 1.1 is, is the spread there. Let's take a look at this one. Equals STDEV. Okay. And I'm going to highlight. Enter. Oh, and the spread is even bigger here. So standard deviation is often given with mean. And in fact, it should be when you present means in your in research papers. You should always put the standard deviation so that someone can see the spread of scores. In a sense, that gives us an idea of how, uh, you know, how representative that mean was. In this case, it's 63.5, but the mean may not mean that much, pardon the pun, because the score spread out quite a bit. Whereas in this case, the mean actually means pretty much what it says. That that's what most students got, that 63.5 score or 64. So for now, I think it's helpful to think of standard deviation as a measure of how the scores spread out, how, how different scores are from each other within a sample. And that gives you an idea of how accurate the mean is.